Hello everyone. We are going to start with HCIA lab uh, tutorial. First we have ENSP. As some know, the ENSP is a simulation program just like uh, Packet Tracer of Cisco. In this program we are going to simulate an, um, a configuration or labs that required for the HCIA certificate. I'm not going to explain a lot of the protocols or the uh, configuration in details, only such in lab because that it would take a lot of time. So first, let us uh, uh, have some brief introduction on the NSP. As you can see, it's the start page of NSP. At first, you should have Install the virtual box uh, machine and the Wireshark. It's uh, it is discussed here. What is the service requirement for the CPU as a hardware and the software we need virtual box and the operating system requirement, the CPU, the memory, the disk space. At first we have this uh, startup page of ENSP. At the startup page of ENSP we click on a new topology. As you can see here are the network elements. We have routers, we have switches, we have uh, WLAN, we have firewalls, we have end devices such as client, uh, mobile, and we have uh, cloud, uh, hub, and the cables connections. At first, we have these models of routers. As you go through the training uh, materials, of learning uh, materials of CIA, it will discuss about the features of each device. It may, such as like, this feature is included in this model, this feature is not included, you can test it out in, on NSP. First, we are going to track a router. At first, we need to start it running by selecting it, or right click and select start, or select and from here we say start device. Now, as, it, as we can see, the device is booting. And from here, we see settings. We can see the pack uh, font, or font of the device. We have like the console interface, one interface, the interfaces, and such as config. OK. Okay, at first, we have starting of the device. By default, it will take the name Huawei. I'm going to discuss some brief comments for this first video of the tutorials. At first, I'm going to display the, for example, the time. As we can see, it's stating that this date and as a time zone, we can uh, change it. We can um, as, as much as we can. It's not a problem. Okay, so to change the time, we simply we simply use clock date time and it will give us the the format required for us like hour later specified by minutes seconds and for example going to for random for on the tutorial we say hour three Minutes is 15 and 
two second. Now specifying the year twenty twenty and twelve two. Okay. For now we we can see that time the date is changed as first as this is the first method of how to change the date or time for the next uh, thing I'm going to show you is how to change the time zone of it okay back so um, to for the, the other way we can say for example wait a minute one second we can say clock time zone and the name of time zone and uh, for example for example EST now we say for example add and specify the the time zone offset this is another way to change the time and the third way not required such as uh, using the network time protocol and TB for this we, we don't have to discuss uh, such as uh, feature the other feature is changing the name which is simply by using oh at first we have as discussed in the materials we have the user view and other levels for the start this is the user view to change some features we can go to the system view for example we cannot change the name of the device in the user view we can change the name using the command system name and for example name it as the name of it AL so we can see the name is changed for now I'm not going to go so deep in the tutorial I'm going to show you some an example some um, okay for the connection I'm going to connect just for the tutorial for the first uh, video how to connect we can choose auto without specifying the interface or we can change for example select copper and we select the interface for example Ethernet 00, the Ethernet 001 of the PC as we can say as we said that the device by default is off so first we are going to select and start as we can see the interface is now up the IP address, the subnet marks, the gateway for example we are going to show you some a tool that helpful for to get information or to know how we can do it by using the capture data as as the first um, minutes of the video I mentioned that we need Wireshark Wireshark, the purpose of Wireshark is that we can use it to know what is the issue or how it's uh, how it is the process so we can see it is starting up and capturing the buckets from the interface this is some a handful tool that we can hand uh, can be useful for us for the tutorial and for the such as learning and maybe in troubleshooting we have an issue we simulate it then we say Wireshark show us the information and help help us with it okay I'm not going to make it much longer for this first video because the first video is only introduction to the NSP and for other for our course thank you a lot